Alright, Jake here. Alright, whew. Let's uh let's restart this. Okay. Uh, let's say that you have this project here and you have these two little links and uh, you realize that while you're working on your blog here uh, You're scrolling down and uh, you realize maybe your blog is too long or maybe your page is too long or too big Or what have you and uh, you finally decide well uh, It's kind of a pain in the butt for anybody to do that So let's go ahead and try to anchor this at the top and uh, today we're going to show you how to do that just with some CSS so um I'm doing this kind of in my IDE, my uh, Integrated Development Environment uh, Visual Studio. You can use whatever, and this is, um, if you're doing web development, this will apply to anything that you uh, that you want to use, it's just as long as you have the CSS file and um, whatever page you want to apply it to, the home page or a layout or a basic HTML file um, or whatever other languages use. So. Let's go ahead and uh, get started. So first things first, I have a uh, little class I just put on here called Navbar Anchor. And uh, I think it's pretty descriptive, right? It's a Navbar Anchor and it's anchored to the top. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to do dot uh, to indicate that's a class. Navbar Anchor. And uh, then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to uh, also copy this because uh, I probably want uh, my links to be a little more cleaned up too, right? Right now they're showing with these uh, decorated uh, bullet points here and I probably don't want those either. So let's go ahead and get rid of those. So I'm going to do uh, what's called uh, nested targeting here and basically what I'm doing is uh, I'm saying get me the uh, getting get me the element that has the class of navbar anchor, and then I want you to get me the any child element, any element that's inside of it, uh, which is of a type ul, and then I want you to target any li element, any list element that's inside of that ul. So it kind of just kind of goes n further and further down, kind of nests further and further down. So navbar, mm -hmm. then we're targeting the ul, then we're targeting the li, and it stops there. So, right, so let's go ahead and uh, we're just going to say, uh, we're going to say, uh, who my brain is failing right now, but it's going to be display and inline block is what we want. And uh, let's go ahead and just clean up our, make our links maybe look, a little less uh, linkish. I don't know how to how else to phrase that, but uh, I'm gonna usually most people don't use the text decoration anymore. Uh, we'll change the color of the font. Uh, I've always just been a fan of blue. Actually, I like orange. Orange is my favorite color, so we're gonna do that. Uh, I'm gonna do orange, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna give the font size to 1.33 em. Why? Because I always like my text links to be just a little bit bigger than regular font. Uh, 1 EM is the standard uh, font size, and it, uh, the EM kind of is dynamic where it will match any one of your, uh, any size to the um, browser or the mobile device, which have you, that's being used. So. Alright, so cool. So now we have those two things set up, and uh, let's kind of check it out, see what's going on here. I'm going to reload. Uh, yep, we got some orange text, and we got rid of those bullet points, and now it displays in line. Sweet. Alright, so now let's do the big deal here. We want the uh, top position, the absolute position, to be zero. Uh, we want the left position to do the same on the page. I'm going to do the background color to black. I always like that and it's uh, always looked a little bit cleaner to myself um, and then we're also going to give it the position we need to give the navbar position uh, fixed uh, okay and we'll give it a uh, we'll leave a height right now we'll show you demonstrate kind of what's going on and this is actually all you're going to need to anchor it that's honestly it um, these little four lines. So you can either stop watching this video now and just kind of copy and paste or do whatever. Um, and I'll do a demonstration here or you can go ahead and uh, follow just a little bit further and I'll show you kind of why we do these things. So uh, I'm going to reload this and uh, you're going to see it's going to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to do a width of 100%. 
That way at least it takes up the whole entire page, right? So there's my demonstration, that's it. That's everything. Um, that's all you need to do to anchor it. Uh, but if you haven't noticed, um, some of the text is kind of hidden underneath here, right? And that's kind of a little bit of an issue, so we need to fix that. Uh, so I'm going to give this a height of, uh, let's see, 3 EM. And uh, let's see how that looks. Uh, cut off a little bit on the bottom. Maybe I want to go a little bit bigger. 0.33. Yeah, that looks about right. That looks fine. Um, probably a little bit uneven, but to your eye, uh, I'm sure you're able to fix it. Just keep playing with it. Uh, and then um, the nice thing about it is actually, let's cut this. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a, another class underneath our uh, nav here. I'm going to say, whoop, not a dialog. I'm going to give it another div. And uh, I'm just going to call this class... Uh, I'm going to call this class Hidden Margin, because that's kind of what it's going to be. Um, essentially what we're going to do is we're going to push all of the text down. Um, so if I go dot hidden margin, and I also want this to apply to the nav bar, right? I want to give it kind of like the, I want to give it the exact same height so that it pushes the content down, right? So this is also going to be applied to the nav bar anchor. So now we're doing a couple of uh, class uh, design here. I'm going to move this over. Maybe it'll be, look a little bit less awkward for you to look at. Um, so there we go. So now let's go ahead and reload our page. And sweet, see now it pushed that text down. We have, um, and we can scroll down, everything's just fine. Uh, this will automatically adjust to whatever width that you want it to be, and you know, however, whatever height you want it to be. Um, and it'll always stay there. You can see I'm scrolling up and down, scrolling along this text, and it's staying up there just fine. So now you have your anchored, uh, you have your anchored navigation bar. So. And that's all there is to it. Hopefully uh, this is beneficial, and thanks for watching.